And now, live from one of the most exciting cities on the planet, with the possible exception of that great place called New York City, it's snack time! Woo! Ah! Oh. Welcome to the world of snacks. A world you can go to at will, like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. A world where your imagination... Anyway, today's snack is about an old neighbor of my parents. An old neighbor whose husband happened to be in the British Embassy, and her name, the wife of this British ambassador, was Sadie McCullough! Sadie McCullough! Yes, Sadie McCullough was our neighbor, and she was so British, so very, very British, that my mama just had to kick a little British ass. Snack boy! We know your mother, Susan, is not capable of kicking ass, either British or otherwise. Well, I'll tell you what, she kicked some Sadie ass, or at least she put up a good old-fashioned battle. On to the tale. I was a child, I was about 10 years old, my brother and I, both brats at the time, still are brats, were playing in the backyard, and we had a cat. It was my cat, and the cat's name was Benitris. Well, you know, I, you know, like when you're a kid and you can't pronounce everything right, you just kind of like change it, warp it. Well, her name was Beatrice, but when I got it, I, I named my cat Benitris. Well, Benitris was a sassy, dark gray cat, and there's nothing more she liked than to hunt and steal and kill. She was quite the carnivore. She was into uh, carrion rotting deadly meat and one day Mrs. McCulla, a British neighbor with her proper British children Fadwick and Christian was making a fish and she made her fish and she seasoned it just so and she put it in her window of her kitchen home her country kitchen ambassador window and of course because she was British and she liked to follow British custom. She did not have a screen on the window, and she kept the window open at all times to air out the house properly. Well, our cat, Benitra, smelled her some dead fish, and there was nothing that she wanted more one particular fine summer day. So when that smell came through the yard and hit Benitra's nose, she went, Rawr! she went into hunting mode. And into Mrs. McCullough's window she sprang, and she did grab the fish. She grabbed the fish, and she ran. And it was violent. She tore into it with her teeth, and blood was everywhere. And she claimed the fish as her own. She claimed the fish as a crummet. And she took the fish, and she brought it back to our backyard where my mother was gardening. And my brother and I were playing. All of a sudden, we heard, oh, 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 gosh, no, goodness, no, goodness, no. And around the corner, through our fence, sprang Mrs. McCullough in her beautiful little pink dress and her apron and her hair just so and her powdered makeup. And she was armed with a broom, loaded with a broom was the bitch. And she said, no, where is that dreadful kitty? Where is the dreadful kitty? That little kitty felon who took my fish. And my mother said, what is going on, Miss McCullough? Get out of my way, Susan. I have a bone to pick with your kitty. He's going down today just to shout prevail. And my mom said, Mrs. McCullough, if you don't put down that broom and get away from my cat, I'm going to have problems with you. And she said, Susan, I'm sorry. That cat took my fish. Move. Come here, kitty. And she started swinging the broom. And my mother said, Mrs. McCullough, if you do not get away from my cat, and if you ever touch my cat, you and I are going to go for it. You have to remember my mother is a Sunday school teacher, people. She's not a violent woman. She gives. Every time someone in her Sunday school class has a birthday, you know, Mom, she brings in a little cupcake and a little candle. The woman does not like to throw fist. But she said, Miss McCullough, touch my cat and pay the consequence. Mrs. McCullough saw the fear of God in my mother's eyes that day. She put down her broom, and facing my mother, not turning her back, 
she started to back in slow steps away from my mother. And she said, that fish will be replaced. And my mother said, fine, the fish will be replaced. Cut.